from you know at the beginning we couldn't believe that he was dead and for as long as possible we were holding out the possibility that he was a prisoner somewhere um, and now it seems as though that hope is gone but <coughs> I think our position is still let's take this one step at a time we need a full accounting and then we need accountability and as editor of the editorial page at the Washington Post that's what I'm focused on the nature of who Jamal was I mean that's the other part of this that you know he was no enemy of Saudi Arabia uh, he wasn't anybody's enemy he was a journalist doing his job trying to you know spark open debate about important issues he was a patriot he wanted the right thing for Saudi Arabia he was even rooting for the crown prince to succeed in his reforms he had these ambitions and dreams some of which we shared here at the Washington Post to expand the platform uh, for voices uh, particularly in or about Saudi Arabia and the Middle East uh, to allow for the kind of open debate which he felt those countries are entitled to and people there want but their governments don't allow. So I think this uh, uh, l last op-ed, if that's what it is, which you know now kind of reads like a final will and testament was not that it was a a mission statement um, for what he thought the region needed and and what he still hoped to do here's what we know Jamal walked into that consulate on October 2nd and he didn't walk out the Saudis know what happened so the idea that we need days and days of investigation uh, and forensic work and it's ridiculous just tell us what happened and in my opinion, uh, the Uni a United States government that was committed to the values that we should be standing up for would be saying that. We wouldn't be sending people over to smile next to the crown prince. We wouldn't be raising ridiculous theories about rogue operators. We would be saying, we need the facts, we need them yesterday, and then we can figure out what the right policy is. At the Post, in our global opinion section, we are dedicated to um, the same thing that Jamal was dedicated to, which is providing a forum for a range of voices um, that can debate each other and have ideological diversity. And, uh, you know, particularly if we can do that uh, for people who are living in countries where the governments don't allow their own press to do it. Um, that was Jamal's vision for the Middle East. It's why we've translated some of his pieces in our editorials into Arabic. It's why we've translated some, some pe pieces into Turkish. You know, I'm sure uh, we will redouble our efforts in that direction and, and, you know, we will always have Jamal in our mind as we do it.